Welcome back to Techno Surgeon YouTube channel. So I recently made a video where video card said RTX 4060 was launching on 29th of June, which is indeed true because Nvidia also tweeted out where it says the card is coming on for sale on June 29th. So this just makes it clear. And RTX 4060 comes with 3,672 CUDA cores and in 2.46 gigahertz boost clock with 8 GB of jddr6 ram so yeah overall it's pretty mediocre and let's see how because how it performs regarding rx 7600 because 7600 is far cheaper compared to the 300 dollar price tag of rtx 4060 speaking of radeon we have some news regarding amd's zen 4c which is their program architecture and yeah they revealed everything about their epic programmers chipset and this looks like a monster as you can see on the screen here they comes with Zen 4 C cores which is way smaller compared to Zen 4 and yeah and compared to Zen 4 it's pretty nice like Bergamo is pretty powerful compared to Genoa as we can see over here on the screen it comes with 16 8x16 core CDs whereas Zen 4 comes with 12 into 8 core CDs so in the day have more cores and it can go as 8 tile of 16 core while Zen 4 only 12 tiles of 8 cores so yeah, it's pretty nice it is because Zen 4C comes on TSMC 5 nanometer and it takes 2.48 millimeter square while Zen 4 took 3.84 so indeed Zen 4C cores are pretty smaller but 35% smaller in to be exact but it is more powerful and they can fit more cores as AMD has launched four three models which is 9734, 9754S and 9754 with it coming with 9734 comes with 112 cores, 224 threads and yeah it comes with 2.2 GHz clock and 3 GHz boost it has multi-threading and stuff 9754S comes with 128 cores, 128 threads the only difference is uh, it has no multi-threading that's why it comes with 128 cores and 128 threads while 9754 comes with 128 core 256 threads because it has multi-threading and it comes with 2.25 gigahertz clock and 3.1 gigahertz boost clock and it draws around 320 to 400 watts and it all three comes with 256 megabits of l3 cache and 12 channels of ddr5 pci zen 5 is x128 lens so overall it's pretty insane looking and for the performance they compared it with intel xeon 8954 which was it destroyed it completely and speaking of amd they also revealed their mi instinct m mi 300a they basically revealed it last year mi 300 series but now they had divided it into mi 300a and 300x where 300A comes with 128 GB of HBM3 memory and it is CPU and GPU, it's an APU, RDNA 3 cores, CDNA 3 cores, not RDNA, CDNA 3 cores and Zen 4 architecture and it gives you 8 times performance, more performance, AI performance per watt and 5.5 times compared to previous generation and yeah, it's pretty nice, it looks pretty nice and that 8 times is over, 5 times is over HIHI nvidia's implementation hi300 and mi300a is sampling now while mi300x will be coming in q3 and mi300x is pretty it's a monster because they removed one cpu die and replaced it with one gpu die so it has more memory one more gpu memory so it comes with 192 gb of hbm3 which gives you a memory bandwidth of 5.2 tb per second and 896 GB per second memory infinity fabric bandwidth it's a complete monster 300x comes with up to 8x cds which is up to 304 cores which is way higher than radeon cores radeon 96 compute cores it is way more powerful it's truly a monster 300x and it is set to go against nvidia's hi300 series h1 H100 series. Um, let's see how it performs, but it looks pretty insane. That MI 300X. The GXH 100 they compared it, and overall, 
in according to their testing mi 300 x bits at dgx h100 it is they said it has over 1.6 times hbm bandwidth compared to h100 and 2.4 hbm density and yeah mi 300 mi 300 x can beat it and it is going to be available in some time in q3 so yeah overall amd unleashed pretty big monsters let's see how nvidia goes against it nvidia and intel goes against these processors regarding gen 4c and mi 300 series and amd also accidentally revealed their navi 32 as you can see there's a navi 32 die shot which has been seen and and we know navi 30, 32 is going to be there for 7800 series 77 and 7800 and navi 32 is coming it's uh by video because i says a quick measurement tells us what has been rumored for months and the graphics die in the center measures about 200 millimeter square while the filled full gpu has includes four mcd dies going for around 350 millimeter square so basically it is indeed a mcm architecture where the single is the middle die is a G G graphics compute unit and while others are memory compute units so yeah it's nice and ego slab did some testing basically he used radeon pro w7 7800 because it has identical specs and tone it down so it matches the performance of the leaked 7800 xt and 7700 series and through his testing he found out like there is no major improvement compared to 6800 xt 6800 xt there's no significant it's just like 5 frames 4 frames in 1080p and at 1440p 5 frames and 12 frames in 4k so overall it's pretty mediocre but it is what it is and if they launch it they will be cannibalizing the sales of 7900 series 7800 x3 because they have more stocks of 6800 so basically nvidia is waiting so basically amd is waiting for the stocks to run out and for the right time to launch this series but yeah that's it for me today what do you think about the new sound of your thoughts in the comment section below like share and subscribe and i'll meet you in the next one peace out